Hi, I'm Janelle Shires, Youth and Family Program Director here at the Center for Spiritual Living in Seattle. Thanks for joining me today. We make these videos so that you have a way to hear spiritual lessons and share them with your family when it's convenient for you. If you're in the Seattle area and would like to join us, come on in at 11 o'clock for our youth program for kindergarten up. Make sure you click on subscribe below so that you're notified when new videos are posted. This month, we are talking about winter holidays and today is Christmas and joyful tidings. So we are going to be doing the story of Jesus's birth, but it's going to be new thought interpretation with biblical references. So I'm going to go ahead and read you the story, then we'll do some questions after. The story of Jesus's birth. God sent the angel Gabriel to visit Mary in the city of Nazareth in Galilee. Mary was a young woman who was engaged to marry Joseph, a carpenter of Nazareth. Both Mary and Joseph were descendants of King David. The angel spoke to Mary and told her, the Lord is with you and you are greatly favored. Mary was troubled. She did not know what the angel meant. Then he said, do not be afraid, Mary, for you have favor with God. You will have a son and you shall call his name Jesus. He will be great. He will be a king who will rule forever. How surprised Mary was. She did not understand what the angel meant. How can this be? She asked. The angel answered, this child who will be born to you will be the son of God. Nothing is too hard for the Lord. And Mary believed the angel. Let it be as you have said, she answered simply. The angel of the Lord told Joseph too about the coming of Jesus. He said, Mary will have a son and you shall call his name Jesus, for he will be an example to all his people. How glad Joseph must have been to know the Savior was to be born. He and Mary eagerly awaited the coming of the baby Jesus. Before Jesus was born, Mary and Joseph traveled to Bethlehem. Since many were people were traveling to Bethlehem as required for the census, Mary and Joseph could not find a hotel room. They could not find a room to stay anywhere. Finally, a kind innkeeper offered them his barn so they would not have to stay out in the cold. This barn had hay for them to lay on and keep warm, and it had many animals living in the barn. It was here that Jesus was going to be born. And they were in the same country, shepherds abiding in the field, keeping watch over the flock by the night. And lo, the angel of the Lord came upon them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were afraid. And the angel said unto them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. For unto you this born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. And this shall be a sign unto you. Ye shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. And suddenly there was the, there was, <clears throat> excuse me, with the angel, a multitude of heavenly hosts praising God and saying, glory to God in the highest and on peace, good will toward men. And it came to pass that the shepherds said to one another, let us now go unto Bethlehem and see this thing which the Lord has made known to us. And they came with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the babe lying in a manger. And when they had seen it, they had made it known among the people, saying what was told concerning the child. And all that heard it was and all that heard it wondered at those things which were told to them by the shepherds. But Mary kept all these things and pondered them in her head. And the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all the things they had heard and seen as it was told unto them. Now three wise men departed to meet the child, and lo, 
The star which they had seen in the east went before them, till it came and stood over where the young child was. When they saw the star, they rejoiced with exceeding great joy. And when they came into the barn, they saw the young child with Mary, his mother, and they presented him unto his gifts, gold, frankincense, and myrrh. So why do we celebrate Christmas? Well, we celebrate it because it was the day Jesus was born, and it re represents that Christ consciousness, that which is the awareness of God and the good, and that that good is the God. And what other words do you know to represent the good of God? That's a good question for you and your family. I would say love, joy, peace, there's a variety of words. We call them God qualities here. And um, sometimes you might con um, consider them values, um, but we use God qualities. Okay, and why is Jesus important? Well, Jesus' life was a demonstration of a person who is aware of his connection to God, to their connection with God. And Jesus grew to know that he was the living embodiment of God, that Christ within us. So this is a story you can share with your family and discuss as it's appropriate, depending on the age of your children. We do have a couple activities for you to do. For your younger ones, we made little bracelets with some um, pipe cleaners. I had some glittery, glittery ones. If you have some jingle bells, you could put that on, just a way to have a little festive activity. And for your older ones, you could make a holiday greeting card, and more specifically, a holiday thank you card, because cards originated oh, over 100 years ago in England, and those greetings are a way for us to pass on that holiday spirit and that recognition of our thankfulness. So thanks for joining me today. Again, um, feel free to leave me a comment below, and I hope that you are able to join in on more of these.